A continuación presentamos el devocional diario traducido al inglés. En español lo puede encontrar de lunes a viernes a las 9 horas en las Islas Canarias por el canal de YouTube. Centro Evangélico Vida Nueva. Dejamos más información abajo en la descripción del vídeo. Good morning, my dear brethren and friends, faithful followers of our daily devotional. Many of you are listening to us directly at this moment, and others will do so at another time because the devotionals are stored on our Facebook page and also on our only YouTube channel, Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva. And to all of you who listen to these uh, devotionals through different radio stations or even on a TV program, to everyone, I repeat, welcome. Today we're going to be reading in the book of the Apostle Paul to the Philippians, specifically chapter uh, 2, verse 1 and 2. Therefore, if there is any consolation, if there any comfort or love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any affection and mercy, fulfill my joy by, mercy, by being like-minded, having the same love, being of one accord, of one mind. The Apostle Paul and all of us at this point in our lives have to know perfectly well that everything that we need, whatever is the case, we can find in Jesus Christ. If we need some special moment of mercy from Him, we're going to have all the mercy to our reach, how many times we need it. If we need love, peace, joy, to be restored, some blessing, some word of wisdom, some concrete direction for a decision that we have to make in our lives, I repeat, everything we have in Christ Jesus our Lord and Savior. We are complete in Him. That is the best way to summarize it all. We are complete in Him. Everything that, our, that your life and mine needs to be able to stand firm and advance and grow and develop in victory with the favor and with the blessing of God, we already have. If we have a personal experience with Christ Jesus, not a change of religion or anything like that, but I repeat an experience that is personal with Him and we maintain our daily communion with Him, with our Lord Jesus Christ, all the satisfaction disappears. There is security, there is confidence. We know that our life has a purpose. We know that we're not in this life to lose time and waste time, but rather the opposite. So that is the reason why, my brothers and sisters, I encourage you to strengthen your communion with the Lord, that nothing and no one will ever interfere in your relationship with the Lord. The world tries to separate us more from God every day, but we have the power of the Holy Spirit living permanently in our lives so that we can live Christian lives in victory and not be a kind of a spiritual beggars, letting them, letting them drag us by people and being victims of circumstances. The, word, the Lord says that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us and our encouragement and consolation does not come from this world. As a matter of fact, we don't yearn and we don't have any desire that this world will encourage us and comfort us and motivate us because we know that everything that we need in Christ Jesus, if we look for it, we will obtain it. It is a matter of discipline. It is a matter of staying firm in His ways. It's a matter of not taking our eyes off Him for a single moment and to continue moving forward patiently running the race in which we are all in. We will have struggles and difficulties and obstacles and problems and many other circumstances, but I repeat, in each and every one of them, the strength, the presence, the blessing of the Lord will come true. If you do not have this experience with Christ, if what you have is a religion invented by the way by men, a lot of doctrines and traditions of legends of myth, but you don't have, but they have nothing to do with the Word of God, with the truth that is taught by Christ in the Gospels. I encourage you that you today tell the Lord, Lord, I want to know you. 
I also want to have my own experience, a personal one with you, and I want to follow you faithfully every day of my life. There are people that who have been born in the gospel, in a Christian environment, perhaps their father, their mother, their uncle, their grandmother, or somebody took them to church from they were little, but that doesn't mean anything. Maybe you know a lot about the Bible, but very little about the God of the Bible. That is why I'm encouraging you to ask him for forgiveness. He's ample to forgive. His consolation, his mercy will become a reality in your life. And you will be able to discover that you did not come to this world by chance, that there is a, an eternal purpose and that the Lord is counting with you to achieve a series of objectives throughout your life. So this morning, at this very moment, where you are, wherever you are, at college, in your car, driving, going to work, or coming back from work, getting up or about to go to bed, it doesn't matter. I wish that God will bless you, that you can remain firm every day of your life in the ways of the Lord. Study, prepare, pray, pay a price, spiritually speaking, Read the Word of God, search the Scriptures, and you will discover the treasures and the promises that the Lord has given you. And you will experience joy, peace, comfort, encouragement, and everything that you need to be able to live in victory. Once you have your own personal experience, once you start to discover areas and facets of the character and the essence of our God, you will be able to share with other people friends, neighbors, family members, co-workers, this message that has transformed the lives of millions and millions of people throughout history. You will be able to realize that you can overcome any problem in life. You can get out of discouragement, depression, of that constant doubt, of that permanent emptiness, of that dissatisfaction that seems to accompany you every day of your life. In absolutely that you will be able to experience the same victory that Christ experienced in his life. You will be able to sleep peacefully and go through life with the head held down high, knowing that you're not alone, but he's with you every day until he comes for us. So my dear brethren and friends, joy, peace, patience, mercy, we have everything in Christ Jesus. That is why we have to be to, together, united, supporting each other. So that way, the world will know in you and I that light, that change, that transformation that only can bring in your life. My dear brethren and friends, let's pray together to our God. Ask for His blessing for this new day that just began. May the Lord protect us from all danger and all evil, and we can remain firm in His ways all the days of our lives. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you this morning, O oh good God, for the privilege that you give us to start a new day with you, with your word. Thank you because we're not alone in the midst of problems and life struggles, but that you are by our side at all times, accompanying us, guiding and protecting us at every moment. We put our lives And everything that we're going to be doing today in your hands, guide us and help us to please you in everything. We ask you together with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren and friends. Whoever you are and wherever you are, may the peace and the blessing of God will reach you. Remember that all the information that you need about our congresses, our upcoming trips to Israel, and everything else, you are able to find on our webpage, mividanueva.org. And be careful, because there are still people who are impersonating us, opening channels with our name, with the logo of our, of our church, but they have nothing to do with our official channels that are Centro Evangelico Vida Nueva on Facebook and on YouTube. Look always on the number of subscribers and you will be able to recognize who are the fake ones and what is the true channel of our ministry. May the Lord bless you, my dear brethren. Thank you for praying for us every day, 
for supporting us with moving forward, united in the name of the Lord.